Hello, I wasn't planning on making this video today, but last night I set up my script to get the sunrise images from Porter Williams this morning. And so I thought I was going to set the camera up in my app and I noticed that there was something very interesting, which in scientific terms, I guess it would be considered a confounding variable. So I got it to get the images just before sunrise and for a few hours after that. And I don't have too many images to work with that are not cloud covered, but I was trying to get a best fit for the sun in various positions and I noticed that the best that I could do given the circumstance was to point the camera down towards the water with an azimuth of 76 degrees and it still didn't quite seem right to me so what I did was I loaded one of these images in GIMP and I just drew a set of X's to get the middle of the image which would be right around here. So you've got the close by mountain that kind of goes towards the water. You've got another one that is further away and then it comes back down and then there's another one way off in the distance over here. And so the middle of the camera should be right around here, somewhere about a third of the way from here to here. So it should be right around here somewhere. So then I went to Google Earth and I kept playing around with one of these lines and I'll show you where I am in just a second, but the airport is right around here and I'm looking off in this direction. And the reason why I'm backing up so far is so that whenever I zoom out, I can get a more or less correct field of view to match the image that was taken. So that line there represents my best fit for the center line of the camera matched in Google Earth. And so I was right here, I guess on a service road or some kind of road leading up to the airport. And if I draw a sight line, you can see that it's pretty close. I think the camera might be over here looking in this direction. That gave me 67.34 degrees. 67 was not quite the same as 76. So in fact, I'm trying to match the camera's orientation too far south. It should actually come more north. And before I change it, I just wanted to point out that when I had set it up like this here, according to the fit, the camera would have had to have been pointing down into the water with an altitude of minus six. So I'm going to change it back to 67.34, I believe. And now I will change the altitude kind of to match something more or less like maybe like that. But now we have another problem. So now we can see that the sun isn't quite as high as it should be. And that got me thinking about what I noticed when I was getting the images off of their server. It would seem to update the east camera at an interval that was different than the west camera. And I did state in the other video that I'm pretty sure that they update their website every 10 minutes. And if the time on the camera is not quite right, it could certainly explain why the east camera is not being updated at the same time as the west camera. So now what I have to do is I have to find out how many minutes offset I think the camera might be. And fortunately I have that functionality already built in. So I need to go from here to about here and that would be about 8.15. to 8.45 maybe, 30 minutes, is that 1,800? So I'm going to add 1,800 and see what happens. It seems pretty close. 
How about 17? Again, I'm trying to line up the sun inside all of this camera blooming, so I don't have an exact fix position of the sun, but it does seem to be relatively correct. So again, this is about a sample of about five or six images, and that would not be all that surprising if they have two different web cameras and the time is off on one of them. So as time goes on and I get a few more images from this website throughout the winter and spring, hopefully I'll be able to get a slightly better and more precise camera orientation. And I have noticed, unfortunately, sometimes they seem to move the cameras around. So that's always going to be a little bit of fun. Anyways, I thought you might find that interesting. And as always, you know what to do. And I'm going to see you again in another video soon enough. Bye for now.